deafening as one of the world's biggest stars stepped out in Sydney last night. It was almost surreal. Brad Pitt on our shores. Hey, Brad, welcome to Australia. Hey, Your first official visit. I know, it's taken it's you a crazy. while. It's crazy. It's crazy. We can't believe it. It's taken so long. So far. It's great fun, man. It's, it's better than the pictures. Brad's here to promote his new movie, World War Z. It's an apocalyptic action thriller about a United Nations employee racing against time to stop a worldwide pandemic. Or simply put, it's a zombie movie. How do we know they're coming? They're coming. Ready. Zombies, it seems, are the new vampires. Are you, are you pleased this is, is being right? so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you pleased this is being so well-received? Um, well, uh, this thing is so... I mean, if you think you're here to see a zombie film, you, you're in for a shock, because it's something utterly beyond that and entirely different, and we think it's really original and, and certainly the most intense thing you're going to see all summer. So we're, we're excited, because people are having great fun with it. Brad's been a box office draw card for years. Millions have flocked to see him in movies like Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Ocean's Eleven, Troy, and The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. We still remember his career-making moment as a young cowboy in Thelma and Louise. Ladies, gentlemen, let's see who wins the prize for keeping their cool. Simon says, everybody down on the floor. Now. But World War Z is a labour of love for this A-list star. He produced it with his company, Plan B Entertainment, and dealt with the blows of rewrites, reshoots and a troubled I set. You help You're asking me to leave my family. I'm not going to force you. Don't pretend you're not well suited for the job. The director of World War Z is Mark Forster. What was it really like to work with Brad? I mean, I loved working with Brad because he's such a, you know, he's so, such a good actor and so, and so talented and just uh, really, really lovely to, to work with. These days, Brad's even more famous as one half of Brangelina. He and his Oscar-winning partner are raising six kids and saving the world one charity trip after another. Angelina's recent announcement she had a double mastectomy put them both in the headlines again, with Brad labelling her a hero. Now, it's Angelina's birthday a couple of days ago. Did you yeah. guys do anything special to celebrate this year? We started uh, celebrating at about 30,000 feet on our way to Berlin, and then we finished up in Berlin that night. Yeah. Wow. Angelina joined Brad at the London premiere of World War Z, but last night she was happy to let him fly solo, and Aussie women aren't complaining. Oh, Samantha Armitage wow. certainly wasn't complaining there. World War Z is in cinemas yeah. Thursday week. What is it, girls? With Brad Pitt? Desire. Desire? <laughs> yes. Well, look at your part. Have you got any, uh, <laughs> yeah. have you got any suggestions yeah. for him? Oh, he could just trim it down a little trim bit. Trim it down. All. Look like Brad. Oh, it's yeah. like Katie. Pin some hair in there somewhere. <laughs> oh. tail. With a rat's tail. Yeah, there you go. There's yeah. the suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> well, still to come this